Hi there, Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So for you guys, Virgo, we are looking into a new spread. And along with shamanic oracle cards over here at the side to give us more of an advice and information of what are the transitions and energy that we might be encountering and picking up as we venture for the month of May 2021 and what we might be needing to know and understand um this month as well now i do want to apologize ahead of time because i do have some um um wounds on my hand so uh just don't mind that <laughs> anyways um when we're looking into the spread I, I usually focus on the middle part of the the reading as this is really more of your own energy what you're going through right now what is your present situation and all of those kinds of things and we do have the four of pentacles now this gives me a feeling we're in you know um uh there could be something that has happened in your life that makes you want to close off as a possibility um and maybe you are in a situation right now wherein you feel that you you need to take a look on things not in a very emotional standpoint but in a in a situation wherein it's a lot more logical a lot more practical despite the fact that we do have some form of emotions into this reading uh this could be you um, having a form of a situation wherein you are going back into your old attitude and your old personality wherein you are becoming uh, mis not trusting people or maybe there could be a situation in your surroundings that reminds you of the past your your past wounds basically since um you know there is something that you're not entirely very comfortable with it but at the same time you're staying in that situation uh for whatever reason now we do have here the eight of, of cups and the five of pentacles gives me a feeling we're in you know there is really something going on around you right now and you know it gives me a feeling that it could be some form of melancholy energy or a situation that you're not really very willing to be in but at the same time you're trying to you're, you're trying your best to hold on into the situation whatever it is so uh this goes through all of you guys there go out there uh sun moon and rising sign and you could be single you could be in a relationship or marriage or you could be just dating around or staying with someone or maybe you have just met someone new and you have this um you know energy wherein you know things have been really really good and then some maybe some form of awkward situation has occurred and you know this made you want to hold your horses in moving forward and you know it made it makes you want to step down it makes you want to step back you know um there's something uh, which have shaken you and you know something that you want to move forward with suddenly wants you to turn your tail and go back you know at the very least you're trying to protect yourself whatever it is that you are dis deciding right now how you are viewing things your personality and how you view the world and how you are seeing your relationship or situation that you're going through right now um you are at the point of wanting to to do the safe thing you know uh seeing life in a very uh doing things in a very safe view you're not really willing to risk anything right now i guess that is going to be the right word for me to use and um if you guys notice i know it's hard to read them on the camera since this is really more of a deck issue uh since we they do have a lot of dark ca cards with a shamanic uh messages but here we are seeing the card of retreat uh omens and teaching and over here we have the healing uh yeah healing energy and then we have here the it's all good and 
the card of emotional relief so um from these cards we are already having that sense that you know there is something very emotional i would say that something is reminding you about another situation and your fears are cropping creeping up on you and we have here the omens card so uh it, it gives that strong factor to me that maybe something has happened in the past and you know there could be some form of signs or red flags or it may not entirely be a red flag you know you could be just uh, becoming alarmed with few things or maybe you're you are you heard something you you saw something and maybe you are misunderstanding things and you know whatever it is there is some form of emotional situation that is making you very reactive right now and you may not exactly be expressing this to the other person or in the situation that you're going through but we can definitely sense it uh, through through energy so we do have the eight of cups the eight of cups and the ten of swords now this is really more of a situation wherein you know we are seeing that there is a, a huge surge of energy coming to the forefront of things but at the same time there is a lot of fears and a lot of things that makes you feel feel that as if you are going to get disappointed you know it's like some form of new beginning has come some form of a new venture there was an offer or an invitation that was supposed to be something really good and really happy and really fulfilling but uh this could be a situation wherein you know things did not really turn out the way that you're wanting the way that you're expecting things to be so it has that form of energy we do have the high priestess and the justice along with the four of um pentacles makes makes you feel that you know uh you are at that venture of your life or in you know things but you're trying not to say anything you're trying to gauge uh whatever decisions uh you have in that situation um especially when you have this uh four of pentacles like you know this person has a whole lot he's carrying a lot of pentacles a lot of coins but he's not willing to let it go you know he knows that he no one is really out there to get it but he is just holding on to something that he has a value maybe because that's the only thing that he has and he has to to keep that he has to protect that at all costs even though it kind of looks weird you know so it, it gives me that feeling wherein you know there there are th there are things that you know to be true there are things that you are aware of but you're not really willing to to change things right now or you could be in a situation where in i'm not sure i want to pick sides i'm not sure if i want to say yes or i am not sure if i want to say no there is some form of decision you know especially when you have this you know high priestess and the justice card in this reading it makes me feel that okay something is undergoing a test but um i'm not really you know being thrilled about it it's really more of a fact wherein i know something is going on i need to think about certain things you know uh, there is a situation here that will make you want to reflect on certain things it could be a decision that you are about to enter in the near future or it could be a, a certain happening in your past that you need to reflect upon are you really sure you want to jump into this is this something that you really really want is this something that you really really desire those things could be creeping up on you right now and those things could be um something that you need to really put in your mind in your head and in your being right now uh we have here the queen of wands the five of pentacles and the ace of wands all at the same time so this is really more about you having more confidence you know uh i kind of feel that this is going to be a certain period of your time wherein you are going to um, make a decision that is going to be making you happier 
as a result because we do see that the ace of wands really signals that there's going to be a new form of energy a new form of beginning maybe you are going to be you know having that eureka moment or really finding out something and you know something explosive can come about that really puts you into a place where you are meant to be in uh, and this goes through whether this is happening to you in a very personal level or whether this is a relationship, you know, since we do have your like, uh, you know, I, it makes me feel that any form of pent up feelings that you're hiding inside of you, maybe there, there are things that you're not saying and, you know, <laughs> your inner voice is wanting to wanting to shout and scream and tell the other person that this is really what I feel and I don't want to pretend <laughs> anymore maybe so um it gives me a feeling we're in um how things really occurs for you this month is going to be happening emotionally what you think that you are hiding in this situation is not longer going to be hidden. I kind of feel this is going to be expressed um, outwardly. You know, you, you will be able to tell the other person what you truly feel, what you truly think, whether they actually um, agree or make amends with how you do things is going to be another story. But I kind of feel that whatever it is that will happen for you this month is going to be something that is necessary for you and that other person or maybe that your situation or whatever it is that you're going through right now whatever relationship status you have uh, this dramatic and emotional situation needs to occur for you guys to jump into another chapter to maybe deepen the relationship or maybe enter a commitment or, you know, going to, um, it's like proceeding life in a more, um, that allows you both to, to mature and grow together. You know, knowing each other a lot more deeper and understanding what the other person really wants and what the other person really needs and working around through that. And if that might not be the case um, for you guys, it's still going to give you some form of clarity and it's not going to get you confused anymore. It's going to release you from anything that is making you feel weird and confused which will allow you to have a, a new future with a more vibrant and new beginning as at the same time so there's definitely something here that you need to get sorted out there is something that you need to clear out a decision definitely is going to take place and whatever emotions that you are having right now or maybe some form of dissatisfaction that you're having in your life all of that is going to be released and it's all going to come out and it might not be the most happiest feeling in the world because you are going to be dealing with a lot of headaches i feel you know a lot of messages that you need to correct you need you guys need to understand things and all of that but i kind of feel that you know you virgos are not going to mind the whole process because um the truth is going to come out and you are going to find clarity in your life it's just that i kind of feel it happens in a way that is quite dramatic I feel so um yeah uh i don't know about you but i still see that as a good thing and uh, for me personally it's not really healthy for you to keep it all inside of you without really telling the other person because they're not really uh, a mind reader to to know what's really going on in your head so whatever it is that we have in the universe right now, whatever it is that is pushing you emotionally, pushing your buttons emotionally to to express like a volcano, like it's like all your all of your feelings is going to erupt. Um, I kind of feel that that could be just a blessing in disguise that will allow you to express what you truly feel, and then the other person is going to wake up and. Uh, realize that oh 
Okay, this is what you feel. I didn't know. So now we can talk about it. So now we can, you know, do the next few steps. Let's try to resolve things in a way that is going to work, not just for me, but for you as well. So this is really more of a situation wherein, you know, something can really happen that allows you to work better to the situation that you're in, you know. And again, this could be something very personal or something that's happening in your relationship or dating life. Maybe it is already a path for you to be exclusive with another person. Um, regardless what it is that you're going through right now, uh, I kind of feel that it's going to lead you to a better place and in a place wherein all of those negative feelings and negative energies is going to be removed and released from your system, from your heart, and from your soul, which is, I feel, is good overall. So, um, yeah, this is my reading for you, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. If you do want a more personal reading, specifically to take a look on your own situation, um, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. And yeah, I'll see you guys again next month. Bye.